some things are great on their own, but some things are just so much better when they go with something else. Hockey's wonderful, beer's wonderful, put them together, dynamite. Pancakes, excellent. Maple syrup, nectar of the gods. Together, actually the gods, seriously. Sonia Smith and Eric Peterson. As lawyers, Kerry Barr and Leon Rubinovich. That makes two of us. Sonia and Eric helped street legal rule for eight seasons. They won a boatload of Gemini Awards. They held their own against a little law firm down south. But you know, despite all the success, Sonia called it quits early on Street Legal. And when a star leaves a TV series, well, it can cause a rift. It's all gone. We'll get into that. They teamed up again in the revival of Nothing Sacred, a play about clash of family values. Also became a TV movie, you might recall. Since then, they've both gone their different routes. But Street Legal always has a weird way of popping up. Eric did a guest stint on Sonya's show Traders, and over on Corner Gas, well, they had their own opinion. I always kind of like Street Legal. Street Legal sucked. Now Sonia and Eric have reunited for the first time in more than a decade. They play a married couple in a new play called The Test. It's a dark comedy about a man who begins to doubt that his infant son is really his child. That raises a sticky question. Would you love your child differently if you found out they weren't your own? And with two TV icons turning to theater, it also makes you wonder, have they changed or has television changed? Hello, miss. How are you? Hey, hey, buddy. Good to see you. Nice. Welcome back, Eric. Lovely to see you. Thank you. How are you? Very well. This is a crazy subject matter to, to be able to play with, isn't it? I mean, it's it's dark for sure. Mm -hmm. But is, it, is there fun in this at all, doing this? It really depends on your sense of humor. <laughs> it's one of those plays. We just came from a matinee right now. And uh, it, a deeply ambivalent audience. Oh. <laughs> a deeply ambivalent audience. They were there, there, and I, at the curtain call, I saw people get up immediately and leave <laughs> to demonstrate that they were not going were... to applaud this piece of, well, whatever it was. Yeah. And then there were other people that just stood up and yeah. liked it. So yeah, and 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 actually actually loved it. But it's it's one of those. Those uh, plays that, that the people are uncertain because the humor is so dark in it that you don't know. Like, should I be laughing? This is horrible. Should I be laughing? But it's actually quite funny. Yeah, it's but, funny. you know, really. Yeah. Unless, like, well, it's a, but it's a very, you know, as I've learned watching, um, I like to watch a lot of documentary TV yeah. stuff. So I watch Maury a lot. And when I watch Maury, this is not uncommon. This is that real. It's not your father. You know? <laughs> yeah. So yeah. just the, the big universal question is if you found out that the kid you've been raising is not your biological son or daughter, could you love them just the same? Yes. And also about then who's responsible for that? For, for doing that, because then people get blamed. Why the heck did you take that test? Like, our life was fine. Why, yeah. would, you, why would you wreck this? I loved you. Why would you wreck Plus this? Plus betrayal. So, you know? so in the case of the father, um, well, it, it, it's due generations worth in this mm -hmm. play, but the idea that betrayed by the partner, and then what do you do? It's not the kid's fault. You know, so when you wrap your head, like, is this a question you guys have struggled with, just trying to get to Well, it is, but, but it's also, for, for me, it's, it's also about in any kind of a relationship, there are, are often secrets, whether it's uh, things that involve paternity or others. And it's, do you share those? If you keep them to yourself, who's, who's holding that burden, who's not? You know? I, th I think one of the, uh, it's, it's biblical. Yes. It's biblical. <laughs> it, it, <laughs> it always is, Eric. It's always <laughs> biblical. I know, in our, in our, uh, this part of the world, it's always yeah. biblical. And it plays to the serpent and the apple of knowledge. Yes. So uh, there you have a perfectly happy family with a kid, and suddenly some new knowledge is found out, and they're booted out of the, yeah. Uh, yeah. out of paradise. And without right? giving away too much, because you should go see it, uh, there is, in, 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 in in a couple of ways, there is both closure and there is not closure, mm -hmm. uh, you know, with, with two different parts of the story in this play. But it, it must be fun to be able to do this. It, just when you look on stage and you see each other, knowing the history and the friendship you guys have had, what's that experience been like? Oh, well, I just, I, I, I mean, it, look, at, I can see myself <laughs> in the monitor and look at how old I am. <laughs> but Sonia must have a deal with the devil here. I do, I, mean, I do. <laughs> Look at how beautiful and young she is. What happened? I didn't. That wasn't in my contract. Evidently. <laughs> as we, as, you know, we do a lot of talk about the 75th anniversary of CBC. I mean, oh, yeah, being, happy being, birthday! It's pretty yeah, cool, happy, right? And happy being a birthday. big part of the story, you guys. Uh, I think you had another show on another network, but I don't know if we you watched about that. Yeah. that. Um, Everybody thought it had been on the CBC. That's right. Put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> what were your memories of, of being a part of the family? Well, I oh, guess that was that was so wonderful. Yeah. That show. 
It was. I mean, it was one at, at a time when you know we were doing uh, uh, TV or a lot of film, movies of the week where it was happening someplace in North America mm -hmm. that wasn't Canada or Mexico. Right. That's how we were shooting them, you know. So this was so un unashamedly Toronto. Yeah. Our breakfast meetings every time featured the tower at some point in the shot. Yeah. And it really worked across the country because people loved to hate Toronto and they loved <laughs> it. And the lawyers all thought it was a kind of industrial for them, you know. And people still come up to me and ask them, I you live on the island, don't you, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I always good. wanted to arrive wet, you know, because I'd be on the island. <laughs> I swam back, you know. And I've but, had people say to me, my daughter, my, I, my daughter went into law because of your character. You went, really? <laughs> okay, how's it going for her? <laughs> but, it, but it was true, you know, I remember when Street Legal first came on, you hadn't seen a lot of Toronto represented that no, way. Or no, no, not at all. And people were, also, it was, it was the early days of dramatic series, and, 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 and people were still surprised that, it was a surprise that it was wonderful and it was Canadian, and now we're finally kind of getting past that. What's the thing that you guys enjoy the most about working with each other now? Oh, looking at Sonia is my greatest concern. <laughs> yeah, I dare you to say it back to me. <laughs> oh, there you go. Like, pretty good line. Yeah, yeah I like that. that eh? The old fellow still got it in him. <laughs> yeah, you know. He hasn't dried up yet. <laughs> That's one of the lines I say in the play nice. that I throw and it gets away. And a good laugh with yeah, my reaction. Go, actually, you're trying to kid, fella. <laughs> You should go see the play. It's called The Test. It's, uh, it's running in Toronto uh, until November 26th at the Berkeley Street Theatre. Uh, Sonia Smith and Eric Peterson. We'll be right back. <laughs>